just calling Kingy, Kingy, Toto. See if he answers. Come on, Kingy. Mr. John Warnor here. Hey? Mr. John Warnor here. Oh, hello, Mr. John Warnor. <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm fine. Where are you? I'm going over your way to get some kinners later. Oh. In the town centre. In the town centre. I, I, they always have them on Wednesday. Oh, yeah, okay. And, and fish heads. I'm going to get me some. So I might pop in to see you wherever you're going to be. I'm, I'm home. Oh, you're home. So you what, you'll be there till midday? Yeah, I'll be around. I'll be around. Give me a ring. Yeah, I'll ring you before I come I'll over. I won't be there all the more time. I'll no. be around. No, I'll, 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 I'll ring up to see when the kinners are in, then I'll give you a call. Okay, mate. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Bye. There's my mate, Kingy. I just got a word to say for him to tell him he got screwed by Nigel Fatua. I'm going to set up a court case. I've been doing a bit of searching around Fully Lucky this morning, just getting more information for um, um, Lobo or Morris Baker. And um, um, William Baker, William. B. Baker um, was a magistrate uh, himself in Rangitukia Native Court Office, Magistrate Court Office. He put that together. You see, everything's revolved around 1862. Very funny for money Getting greasy now. I just watched, I put it on my, my Facebook site, this video about East Island, 1862, when everything crumbled there. No, it was manufactured. I'm saying that year, 1862, New Zealand Native Land Act was the source of all the corrupted land court in New Zealand. The New Zealand Native Land Court Act 1862 Native Land Act was put together and Ratana Church was right in the middle of that scam set up with 1862 but Ratana Church was put together in 1920, 1918 that's a hundred years next year, anniversary, a hundred years of Ratana going around the world for this native land court that the government screwed, Ratana. They made, manufactured this 1862 Act and put it through the Ratana Church. That's why the government goes to Ratana to get permission for something. All the parties go there and have their little speeches. But Ratna, the people around that area are still poor in Parihaka. You wonder why they're still poor and these bastards are going there to talk about something. They're not telling you that they're using your native whakapapa to screw you. This is Nati Fatua O Orake and Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara. That's screwing Ngāpui and screwing Rahiri. Kingis, Tupuna. 
can you always have this thing about my emanica? And call him a bastard. Well, I'm calling him a bastard as well. With Kingy. Because it was very difficult for me to be with Mohi Manukau all these years helping him to do his claim, my one to one treaty claim. So the treaty claims, the 1840 treaty claims of that year was designed around this 1862. Native Land Act of Referefa Manukau, who in my account of history was linked from that date of 1862, the 11th of November 1862, I had a hui in Te Waka Marae <coughs> in Epsom, Auckland, to invite all the people there to that Referefa Manukau. Hearing. It was a native magistrate called hearing. I'm the magistrate in, a, in that native court on that native land, the Manukau land. Actually, Refref Manukau Marae is the Manukau Marae at Waiuku, <coughs> right in Waiuku itself, right on the shore. His Marae is still there. It got its name changed to Tahuna Marae by the Menenis from Taheke in that area. Changed its name. So I've got a court case of everyone involved in that 1862 Native Land Act that screwed Kupe, Puhi, and Rahibi. I'm a Tahitian myself. Most of my DNA on the male line side. And as far as I'm concerned, <coughs> Moira Hoffman's Whakapapa British Russell, Moira Hoffman Russell, that's her maiden name, Russell, has the Whakapapa to Rahini. And I'm looking at a clear-cut British title linked to Morris Lobo Baker happens to be a descendant of William B. Baker that put my land titles together <coughs> at the same time in Rangitukia. Native Magistrate Court, him being the Magistrate. The man is the Magistrate. The Court is the Native and the Magistrate himself talking, the white man. <coughs> With the same titles only, it was in 1831. You see, 1831 there, St. Mary's Church Register of Deaths, Births and Marriages in my own Morai, Rahui Morai, Native Magistrate Court. Right? You had to get the mana from somewhere. That where it was. The Rahui puts the ban on all the lands when there's something wrong or dead. <coughs> Somebody died in an area or the sea. It's normally the sea, the Rahui. That's what a Rahui is. It's a ban on going to sea to pick food. Pick food from somewhere. That's the name of my marae, the Wānoa marae. It's the Wānoa, Hapu and the Mauai. Te Pito. At te Pito. That's, that's the Mauai's name for Te Pito on Easter Island, the Tahitian. It's been hidden from everyone. Tipito is on Google map, you see? That word Tipito is on the Google map at the East Cape of the North Island, New Zealand.
Zealand on my Marangai Roa land block. <coughs> Our Marae is called Marangai Roa Marae. They changed the name to Awasiri. And the other Marae in Te Aranoa is Rumamai Tapui Marae. They changed that name to Hinirupe Marae and put everything in the female. They put Te Aotahi inside the Marae on my land at my homestead and chucked out my granddad, my tauru one, and put tautahi inside there and hinirupe on the other marae. You see what they did, this crooked little bastard, white man? And this Ngāti Whātou old Ātrei did that, and the Tim, Tiwana Tim, you little bastard. Ran that Ngāti Whātua o Orake Marae with the council and the governor and screwed my whakapapa, you little bastard white man. You screwed my family off my lands and you prevented me from getting Mohi Manakao's land back in Auckland on Cook Street, right back. 2008 when I started that, rack it off. 2008 I started <coughs> investigating the Methodist Church in Queen Street. You little bastards, you sold the place. You sold the place. When me and Mohi was getting too hot on it, on the Methodist Church. Now, the Methodist Church in Manunu on the Hukiang Harbour, they want to sell that church the land because they don't get fucking caught by me and Lobo, Morris, Baker. I won't include anybody in these titles now, just me and him. Money he is in the church, in, in, in the native, in the native Ratana church. <coughs> he has nothing of experience in land titles and got the document. Only Lobo, only Lobo, Morris, I've checked his title. I'm a real estate agent in the past, <coughs> salesperson, and I know what I'm doing. So I've checked his authentic titles, and they're correct. I've just got on to uh, um, some claims in Furunaki, and I'm adding it up piece at a time and it's all based around 1862 the thugs in Australia, New South Wales and New Zealand and Australia's going to get the boot too from this Native Land Act they used over there the 1993 Te Ture Whenua Act they have used that for their Native Land Act but won't identify where they got that 93 from you won't find it anywhere in the world it's from here the 1993 Native Land Act comes from here and I wrote to them, <coughs> I wrote to them in Canberra, stop using Queen Victoria as their oath of office. So I got it on video and I got the letters. You see I'm going to string you all up. You're going to get the 970 million trillion trillion pound note bill. You already got it. I've already stuck it on your head before the Queen dies a horrible death before I get there. And she's run off with the money into the European Union <coughs> and Netherlands. Well, that so happens to be this king, the Dutchman. I'm going to snap all her wealth there with the power note. You think? Right over the whole, everything that's been derived through the king's prize possessions belongs in this flag and belongs to us, the partner in business, the contract private partnership of Admiralty. Got that? <coughs> so to Morris, I'm just going to show you what I've just got this morning. This thing, I'll, I'll never give up looking for information to discover everything. I'm here on Furunaki, look, and I'm checking out who's claiming what on the title up there and so far I've seen Horitikuri's 
Fucker Papa. You see the date? 28th of November 1885. And when you go to East Cape at Rangitukia, it's 1831 when everything started with the British. 27th of November 1885, Furinaki. You see, that's where Te Hori came from. Tahiki. I see the Tahiki history down here, right up the top. Pretty lucky lands. Okay. Cross examine. I'll go down to Hori Tukuri. I'll go down, down. Down, down, down. I can tell all the bullshit surnames. The ones that are Maori names and they're bullshit. They've just made it up. <coughs> made it up. But that's the way it is today. They follow that path until they come to the real people. The people who are there in the first place, they have the right to those lands. And that's what I'm identifying here as a native land commissioner. I can say what I like in native titles because my surname is native and no one can argue with that. Where have I put it? Oh, I've gone past it. Hang on, what page was it on? I'll go back up. I've got to go back up. There wasn't much said about it. Here we go. What's over here? Oh, there's Hori Takuri. <coughs> right, here's Hori Takuri. I'm just going to read a little bit of it. I'm going to go across to see Kingi Hori Takuri. It's Hori Takuri. Oh, well, no, that's the top. Right, we need the top of the page, and Hori Takuri is near the top. Niwa, Mere um, Huna. Okay. That name, I, I know that name, Tanui, is on Mohi's Whakapapa. There's a big chief up there. <coughs> so he's picked them out as um, Ngāpuhi. I don't recognise any other name there, only what he's put. Great too. So out of Tānui, Tānui came Hori Tukuri. There you go. That's that name. I'm following Tānui as being the one that's on Mohi's Whakapapa. Okay, so I can see um, um, Moiris comes down another line, <coughs> or oh, these two come down. Hori Tukuri comes down both sides. So here's Hori Tukuri here with Pipi, and Hori Tukuri here, Ramika, that's great too, female. Oh, that's right to female and Hori Takuri <coughs> there. That's Walters there. That's what Wata means. <coughs> so we got Hori Takuri there. And here. This is Moira's. Cross examined by Hapakuku Moitara. That's her. Tupuna there. I am about 68 years old. I therefore reckon that I was about 12 years old when I left Furinaki. So that's hers. And um, There's nothing much else, than, uh, so I can see where she came from the same area as Morris Baker. Morris Baker, they, they go together, yes, yes, that's hers there. Tutaru's claims to lands on Tahike were through his mother, Tutaru Tairua. To put all lands, including Furinaki. But I'm just looking <coughs> at the years. Here, Haki was buried 
in the Mangungu Cemetery, Ramaka on Tahike. There, Ramaka is on Tahike. One on Mangungu, Waimanga on Firinaki, not being interred but placed on the stage. <coughs> Rangi Hua married Haki. Now, I, I don't need to go too much in my father here. here. I was born, who's talking here? I was born at Opera, up Opera, not far from Wesleyan Mission Station of Sitikuku. My grandfather marries a Furunaki woman and lived on this land. He, him, he himself was born at Titahike. <coughs> my father, Ramaka, married my mother, Reitu, on Waiho. Myself lived in Furunaki while a boy. I have eaten live dog, native dog there. The flesh I can remember tastes like pork. Well, there, that's telling me Ngati Kuri comes from here, Rameka. Okay, that's where it comes from, the Ngati Kuri, the Kuri. No wonder there was a dog there at the Marae in the front. He looks like he's saying something. So that's uh, Horitikuri there, <coughs> connected by Ani Taneha, who calls in evidence, Hori Tukuri Sworn. I reside at Tetahigan Am of Ngati Kairewa. I know the land in question and claim, claim it by right of descent from Taunui. There we are. That's the one there. Taunui is on this whakapapa over here. With mohi. <coughs> Taunui is up here. Um, I can't even see. I'll get my spyglass. Tonui. I can't even see. Tonui. I wrote, I did all this myself. Man, I've gone way past now. Um, Tootie, Tootie, no. Ah, oh, I've seen it somewhere. The glass is not that good. My eyes are not as good as what they used to. I had to do it page like this to squash everything in. Waitaha. Waitaha is a white man's tribe. It was here in the early days, but they had no right to be here, as far as I'm concerned. Coupe. Trying to find Tano, you see somewhere here. Poor Hipper. Nah. Kota, oh, that's Kafaru. Rahi, this Rahi is there. My Tonga. Right. Aprahama Tano, there we go. Tano, there we go. Aprahama Tano, right there. Aprahama Tanui is there, right there. Aprahama Tanui, down to Chief 1700 AD. <coughs> I'm just looking at the ones that my put. These ones here will, will tell everything. It's got Rahiri, that's what Moi Tonga, Tangaroa, Iwaka, Mana something. Oh, six. The paper's gone folded up. I have to go back through my old computers and find everything. Anyway, I can make a new one one day. Queen of Napoli, why my head on But I'm going back to Tarnui. That, that's all I want to find. Anyway. <coughs> but this is graphic, mate. That's graphic on the history that nobody's got that. Nobody can do that. That's that's the title. And that's the Tanui there, Abrahama Tanui, right there. So that's correct. This line here is correct. This side here. I'm come, I'm following down this side to Reitu, and then Hori Tikuri Pipi, <coughs> and here we have Ramika Reitu on this side. Keku Ureo Noho. Okay, that that's all I need to say for now. Um, that's all I want to say.
I've, I've, I've got enough online. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you where this 1862 rubbish comes in of what they're saying. I, I want you to listen to this video. I want you to listen. See, this is where, oops. I'm going to put this in, Tahike. See, I'm just putting, and now Moe Crown Federal State, Tahike Marae, Native Magistrate Court, right here in Hokianga Harbour. First British King, George IV, surrogate King, Magistrate Bank Captain on a ship arrival in 1823 legally. Moira, Moira Hoffman Russell, Whakapapa title to Paramount Chief Refrain Manukau, 1834, King William IV, flag of New Zealand. Title to Hori Te Kuri, 1882, Tahike Marae Urupa. <coughs> so there people, I'm, I'm just telling you who caused all the problems, these Americans. Right, they're, they're causing all the crap and everything. I put that there, and we go back. We start, we start from the top. <coughs> I'm, I'm just going through this thing methodically. <coughs> so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, we start from here, get Daryl. What happened with Daryl Payne, he's in California. The Americans are so corrupted that they're catching them own selves out and he's scammed my side. Not intentionally, but he's been downloading so much bloody stuff that I, I, I don't even answer it because it's just too much. They've got too many laws, too much confusion, too much everything. So I've just told them, get rid of it. I, I fixed it up myself, my computer myself. I got confused with what he's saying, but he's a good fella. But there, there he is. Um, so I'm putting the ones I deal with. Um, Harvey Joseph Kinematau in Canada. He's he's leading our flag there uh, with um, Raymond um, Faithful. Daryl in um, in um, California with Rene Powers. Uh, those two and Matt in England in Brighton. Jamie Patrick. Notice the Patrick name with the eight point star. She's in Fakatane in Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. <coughs> Jackie Little Gordon in um, um, Aberdeenshire in Scotland. She's the manager of the whole business here and around the world, 250 countries with this flag. And, um, who else is it? Um, <coughs> Cecile Hoods is the manager of New Zealand, Pacific Islands. Uh, doing a very great job with the website should be uh, up and running next week sometime next week we'll be kicking into life just as public notice to you that it's been standing dormant for so long because I've been trying to do things on my own and it's taken all that long to get this far and that's Minis Flores that's my um, partner in Philippines a very nice woman to talk to in my own um, private um, conversations with her on, on online, on uh, Messenger, on video. Uh, Raymond Faithful is in uh, Canada with um, um, Harvey <coughs> Kimiato. Um, Harvey Joseph Kim Kimiato. Um, and um, the other guy, um, um, Ruben, <coughs> Johnny, Johnny like his, um you just have to hold back, mate. Don't get carried away with saying things. I know you've got a similar things, but don't get, please, don't get in the way of Harvey and um, um, Raymond Faithful because I've given them the authority to use this flag for its intended purpose, trade with their country. And you'll have to just hold fire from um, saying things to them. Um, so let them do the talking for me. Okay, um, so there's uh, Lobo, uh, Morris Baker, uh, descendant of um, William B. Baker, that put my title together, and I'm the magistrate there. Uh, Morris, you might as well say he's a magistrate up and coming, but he's, I'm teaching him what to do with land titles and how to interpret them because he's very good, he's, he's, he's got all the information that I needed to certify that his documents are authentic and now I'll get them authenticated from the New Zealand government <coughs> and foreign affairs and internal affairs here. And that's his, I've got two new flags because one flew off, his boy opened the window and the other one flew off. So I've got, um, I've got uh, two new ones now 
uh, from my friend um, 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 Keith um, Hiruini in uh, Flags, New Zealand. He got me 20 flags, big ones, that I sent over to uh, Malta um, to, uh, uh, for the supposed, supposed New World Order. And so I'll kick into that when it comes to time. I've, I've always got that option left. If all fails, I'll just go straight into that because the flags are already there. We've already done this work for the flag itself. I'm there for the flag and there's nothing anybody can do about it. So that's his car for driving us around. And there he is there. That's Lobo. He's um, very proficient in his whakapapa to Hori Tikuri and Ramaka. And uh, there's nobody else that can talk now because for Hori and the uh, original British title. He can talk for anything else but the British uh, land title uh, is all I'm going on. Dana Kovacevic um, and she's um, a friend of mine um, and Dali Gardner is a friend of mine as well. And Moira Hoffman Russell is a friend of mine as well. That's the Ratna Church in um, Horeke, Tahike Horeke Road on the way to Mangungu Mission House. And I'm taking that that Mission House <coughs> was an agreement in 1823 from um, Australia, British side of the Crown in 1823, came across. Uh, with King George's authority into Hokianga Harbour when they started selling lands there. That's where the Russells and the Busbys got their land first. And all those people who settled there, the British people who settled there uh, before 1830, was under Tira uh, Waikato Whare Here Here Manikau and uh, King George IV private contract sale and purchase of New Zealand country and the Pacific Islands, one shot. Okay, that's what I'm saying, the titles came out of with this flag, came out because of the commercial private contract of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, Magistrate, Bank. <coughs> okay, so that's the house that um, Lobo is living in, where I go to live, in that house. And uh, as far as we're concerned, it's got mana in it. It's got the big flag of Ratana in it with all the history on where he went around the world. And I'm going to stitch that all up together with him. That's his business and his family's business because that's where Ratana put it. T.W. Ratana put it in this church for that family. <coughs> the Baker family, the Picker family. Picker. And uh, that's all I'm going on. The, um, the, the authority that put the documents together on this land comes out of this church, not the one down in Ratna, down, down in Wanganui, that's corrupted, that's New South Wales corrupted all that lot, uh, with the um, Ngāti Whātua o Ōraki and Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara history with the Rogans stuck right in the middle of it. the Manukau title. On the female side, they split the names up and um, got caught by me. I'm um, in the Dick Rogan and Oraiti Wānua <coughs> Papa title at Rangitugia, East Coast 1831, right before anybody started doing anything on these lands with the titles, came out of that 1820 to 1830, Te Rawaikato, Wharehere and King George IV titles. Okay, so that's Hahi Ratna, the world tour there. That says everything about where he went, but it's on the flag, that's the titles on the flag of the history, the same as what I'm going to show you in a minute about Moira's title. Now there's the confederation I started with. I got that from Iru while he was in um, Malta and in um, <coughs> um, uh, Europe uh, communicating with me and Mohi. He put that together with Marsha Davis and um, I carried it from there right up till now. And the only one surviving in this picture here is Akarana Rewi, on the right here with the tattoo face, Dan Davis. He's the only one that's left alive there, and Iru Manukau at the bottom. Okay, so those two <coughs> have a big problem of their own. Uh, Dan Davis has got tied up with Samoa, 
and the Pacific Islands, nothing wrong with that. Uh, but he's got a problem inside the court systems that's tied everything in knots. It, it can't do anything with this flag. <coughs> Much more that they haven't got the British titles, goes with this flag, and that's what I'm holding with Morris. Uh, it is somewhere in China, so he's um, gone and more or less abandoned everything, but he hasn't got the Freemasons titles that I'm holding here with all the um, Mohi's um, um, dealings with uh, that outfit. Okay, so, and I put this, 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 I'm going to join all that up, and this is my own East Cape history with 1831 right there. You see, 1831. You can see the other dates there of the ones that came after 1837, 1834, 1854, sorry, 1849, 1837, 1838. These are all the people that came after I was there, right, in Rangitukia, with this native title in that church in Tikitiki, Rahui Marai, Mai the Wānoa. You see all the people in Tiaro over here that's doing all the talking, kicking me around, they came in these years, 1837, 1840, right? Nothing on the 1840 there. The Goldsmiths and all those mongrels is in 1840, 1845, yeah? And here I am, 1831, before them. So I'm going to boot them off the fucking land that they've been holding me up with their trustees all these fucking years. <clears throat> I'm just showing you, showing you people, 1839, 1854. I'm just showing you the dates of this map that is put together. There's Mohi Manakau there and Kingi Taurua. Mohi Manakau, he's a lot of thugs in Ngāti o Ōrāke and Ngāti Whātua o Kaipara screwed Kingi here. I'm just going to see today soon. And there's Hongi Hika on the right and Pira Waikato Arahirira on the left. Okay, so and there's Mohi Manakau with the four main tribes. He tried to put those together with the flag and it didn't work. And that carving is still with his daughter Rita. So it was supposed to be the parliament, the confederation of chiefs that never ever got off the ground because none of them knew titles and commerce. <clears throat> that was their biggest problem of not getting anywhere. So. Um, I'm going to show you the other one with Moira Whakapapa. And there's the Maui statue there from this 300 AD. Kupe is 800 AD. And um, the rest of everybody's 1831 in Tiki Tiki. And then the other ones after that. You see? So there's Daryl saying, I'll, I'll just follow for now. Yes, you have to follow um, Daryl because you've done enough damage with my site already. It cost me three days, I'm behind. <clears throat> but, however, you learn by your mistakes. Do not make any more mistakes. Um, to now, Moai Crown Federal State, Tahi Kimarai, Native Magistrate Court, right here in Hokianga Harbour, First British King George the Fourth, Surrogate King, Magistrate Bank Captain on ship arrival in 1823, legally Moya. Moira Hoffman Russell, Whakapapa title to Paramount Chief Ref Ref Manukau, 1834 King William, William IV Flag of New Zealand, title to Hori Tikuri, 1882 Taheke Marai Urupa. <coughs> Alright, that's 1885, round about that period of time. But I want to get a picture of uh, Moira's, oh gosh, I'll be here for ages trying to find that. Um, Moira, 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 um, Oh, no, that's not working. Oh, the, oh, that's the map there of the area. That's Hori Tukuri's area. <coughs> I'll put the map there for now. Um, so there, that's that's the whole of the area of the Hori Tukuri title that I'm saying. Okay, got that? Not for anybody to say. The dog is there in front of the marae, and that's all that matters. Um, I'll just have to go and try and find... The uh, picture that I'm trying to show you of Moira, uh, her whakapapa. Um, um, well, I just took a bit of it, not all of it. I don't want to. I don't want to show any more of it. Um, it's not anybody's business. It's just between her and I, and I don't want to give too much away 
of her side and show everybody. Um, I'll try and find this picture. I'm going to try and find it. Where? Oh, no. Oh, it's not right here. I might find it this way. Oh, I'll find it in here, right. <coughs> I'll find it there. Now there's that 1862 Monaco. I'll find a bigger one. That's 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 his marae here in Waiuku. Waiuku's over here. Look, that's a, the Monaco marae in, in the Monaco Harbour. See, this, this all the information I'm putting together. That's the marae. That's the Reef Reef of Monaco's marae. They changed the name to Tahuna marae in Waiuku. That's the Monaco marae, 1852. 11th of November 1852 Native Land Act of New Zealand and the world. They took that as being East Island at the same time. You see? Edinburgh. There, yeah, Edinburgh. So, hang on. I'll find this other one. I'll find this. <coughs> I'll find. I'll find the pictures, money, this, this lover here. Um, I'll try and find that. That's the federal, Moai Federal State Government building in um, Cornwall Park, Auckland. That's where Mohi Monaco wanted the Confederation building with the flag on top of it there. So I've got that on the plans. Won't take me much to build that. And that's my Rogan coat of arms there in the Cosgrove coat of arms in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Okay, that's mine with these ones with King William surrogate and the flag and the eight point star of St. Patrick on top of it. My hat, eight points. Okay, now you get it. And that's the lawyer that won't talk to me because he's John Key's lawyer, Troy, right there. Okay, he's crooked as hell. Oh, yeah, I don't want chinners. That's what I'm going to get in a minute. That's our film still going. Um, I'm going to find another picture. Oh, this, I didn't realise this was going to go this far. I'm trying to find... Frustrating. I'm going to find a <clears throat> I'm trying to find Moira's picture. This is what I normally do is I go into the pictures to find all my things to put onto the sites. I gotta go and always look for pictures and drop them in. Um, I'll just go in pictures here. Somewhere where there's pictures here. Might be here. Oh, it's slowing down. My computer's slowing down. I've just got to pick up one more. It's the fucker papa. What I'm trying to show you is this fucker papa. Fuck papa. Moira. This one. This one in the book. This one. I'm trying to show you this. Fucker papa. Right here. I'm trying to show you this. Okay? This. Now I'm just going to explain it. This is Moha's Fucker Papa here with Kupe right up the top. Right? And Puhi here with Rahiri right there. Okay? And down to her Tupuna, Moitara here. Okay, so that's her Papa Papa, and then she pulls it out from there. So um, I'm saying this is the Russell family that started off everything up in Waitangi. They put London here. Notice this is fact, cited evidence in Hokianga there, not Waitangi, Hokianga to Britain. The Papa Russell, Rata Moetara, History, okay? 
Now, doesn't that look familiar? That's a native court. Magistrate court, right there, and the magistrate ship with its flag up the top, the British flag. And then I'm going to put the other flag here, the King William flag, next to it. Right? And any other country we deal with at the same time on the other mast. Three flags, our one up the top, this flag here, okay, up the top. This middle mast, and another flag we're flying into that country on that, that one day on that Admiralty ship. We're, we're going to get our own Admiralty ship on a plane as well. So there's the Marae, Te Unga Wakara Marae, Native Magistrate Court in Auckland, is where we're putting all the thugs. The Ngāti Whātua Aurake is going into that Catholic Church, Marae. The Ungawaka Marae, just as well as the Catholic Church Marae, and not one of the corrupted New Zealand government ones. They've taken over all the other Marae, including my Marae, <coughs> the Marangaro Marae in Whakangian, and turned the name into Awatere Marae. You see? They made the Awatere history, took out my own Wanoa history, <coughs> and put then they put that Awatere lawyer in there, and she's crooked as hell, got caught. The lawyer got caught. This shows you how crooked they are. And on the catch them out, you're all going, you're all going into that Te Unuwaka Marae Native Magistrate Court. That's got more going for it than any other court in the world. That one, and Tahi Kimarai, Native Magistrate Court, straight to Britain. We got this flag in the laws of King George IV and his brother, King William IV, all the acts of Westminster Parliament, and the acts of King William III, Dutchman. Right? All his acts, 1694 Bank of England Act, 1694 Pound Note Act, 1694, St. Patrick's Eight Point Star. On this flag, four corners of the earth. That belongs to us. Contract, partner. Lobo, Morris Baker, for his ancestor, the magistrate, man himself, officer, William B. Baker. Rani Tokia, native. Magistrate Court. Moroi. Rahui Moroi Tiki Tiki. <coughs> Rangi Tokia Primary School. The school, 700 acres of land there, designated for the schoolhouse to teach English and for the native court. To teach English. Right there. That's the first one, 1831, the first port of call before Hokianga and Manukau Harbour, Manukau Marae in 1862, a long shot after 30, 30 years later, at least 31 or 32 years later. After 1831, St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, opposite my own Wānoa, <coughs> Matauru Wānoa, Marae, and our Cosgrove family of Irish, and also Cos uh, Rogan family. Dick Rogan, or IT Wano family there, and that Rahui Marai, and also the Cosgroves. My grandmother and grandfather. Taduwa. Okay? <coughs> the 
be picker. Cosgrove. There, that's my Rogan and Cosgrove coat of arms. And the Moai statue at Aha Landblock Tepito, to Tepito on East Island. That's the Moai crown on his head, standing in Dunedin with the hat on his head. That's my crown on top of everything on this land. It's Ahu Whenua is the title to these lands. Now, has anybody got anything close to that so far? Anything close to that? A flag? Three kings? A Maui statue? Memorials? And <coughs> instruments? <coughs> Legal documents? And whakapapa? Like this and like this. Has anybody got any of this to match? The Wano, the Rogan, and the Manukau? Hmm? Refere for Manukau and Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manukau. You can quit the bullshit of the other names that they've manufactured inside Ngāti Whātua O Ōrake and Ngāti Whātua O Kaipara and right in the church because you're going straight into the court into Ungawaka Marae in Auckland. I've got that Marae any time I want because the people from Hokianga comes from there and Enet Hakaraya is my first port of call inside that Marae. There's a phone call away when I want to pull one of you jackasses in there. These thugs and pirates, junkie, you already had your court hearing there. As soon as I get these documents authenticated, then the sheriffs will come after you from Britain authority. You know what you did. All of you people here know what you did. That's why you fellas are shutting your mouth and saying nothing to me. Shannon with us, my barrister, I got you on a contract while I was in prison unlawfully with this shirt here. Stole the shirt with this coat of arms, I'm just telling you, of the king. I, I, I'm allowed to speak for King William IV. I'm, 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 I'm the only one that can speak for King William IV and St. Patrick. You fellas just laughed at this, the policeman. Natalie Flower, you brown came and took this away. She actually stole this and took it away and came back in a packet like this with my name in capitals that's worth one trillion pounds get it? one trillion pounds against the letters who stole this Natalie Flower Dew Brown <coughs> CIB <coughs> Aaron Pascoe CIB he's the one that sparked off all that two hoy rage and the stupid two hoys settled this, well that's their contract card. All you people in the treaty settlements have settled yourselves. You're getting this bill on this side from your birth certificate. It's worth a trillion on this side against you, your boss's 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 boss, which happens to be the Queen and above. He's going to have to pay for it and the Rothschild banks. All the elite families you're going to have to pay the balance that you can't pay. We can strip you of everything. Then the balance of a trillion pounds goes against all your bosses in the councils. And this eight-point star here just happens to be the municipalities to pick up the money from you. This eight-point star on this way in the four corners of the earth, free passage through the world, contract, private, Magistrate of Admiralty, Court Martial Law, can hang you with the laws, with this shirt and the head off. The head here. <coughs> the head. Just why she didn't take my hat with the eight points. Now you see this? Now John Key is wearing this over here. And this is going to rip him apart. It can rip him apart in little bits because we got the contract to put the contract on him. He's just wearing it 
it's not a contract. It's for picking up money of you dead big people in the world who don't understand what I'm talking about. This contract's on your head to swipe your head off because you're in the road between a two-party contract with the British Navy. Okay, so that's the shirt that got stolen and it's my evidence. Exhibit A.